<laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to a new episode, First Time Recycling. Got myself, Hero, here. Alvin. We got Alvin, and we are finally on episode three for the e bike motor. And your superstar of the show. You almost forgot Dang. this guy. He's just sitting there. He's just like over there. I'm just excited about the buffet. Yeah, uh, so am I, guys. This is the buffet here. Um, if you guys haven't already, we did do an unboxing video. Um, if you wanted to go check that out, go check it out at the uh, upper right hand corner of the card uh, or in the description or below. The description yeah, below. so we'll have that in the description. So if you guys want to go and find it or watch the rest of this video, but we are going to be installing yes. this bad boy. So we're excited. Um, downside is uh, they didn't have instructions in this kit right. so they have a video on their website so we're gonna see um, if that video will actually help us actually install it so we won't really do a how-to on this guys um, just because their video hopefully is gonna get us through this but yeah. um, we, we will mention if we do anything differently or if, yeah. if we use different tools because their video is for a 750 750 uh, yeah I think they, they claim 750 and uh, 1000 are the same oh, okay so it should be that. hopefully hopefully it should be the same I don't know but we'll figure that out yeah you know, like I said no instructions so we don't know it's gonna be going on you know like you was saying the NRS 3 um, if you guys haven't checked out that playlist as well um, you know after the video definitely go in the description follow it there I'll yep. probably put a card at the end as well too so you guys can go follow that playlist but yeah anyway let's do this let's hero do it. are you excited yeah. Woo. yes I am let's do it all right guys so we're gonna start off by removing the pedals and the um, you know the crank setup as well as the brakes and the front derailleur because we don't need a front derailleur guys and yes this is hero's excitement here um i don't know should we just pull off the wheels too just to get the wheels off um Where's maybe it? for the well the wheels aren't really in the way okay um, I know if we just have the frame but... yeah it would be lighter and probably easier to manipulate and turn around and stuff uh, yes. yeah okay. it's, it's quick release so why not yeah Ooh, i get to take the derailleur off dang that's Hero's favorite thing Yep, where's that? Derailleur time. I've always wanted to take the derailleur off. That was this thing, he's like, I want to take the derailleur off. I wanted Let to me. make this a single front. Yeah, it's a single front, not yeah, a one by, I mean. Won't even catch me. Woo! Feels like I'm rolling your bike today. This came out with the quickness. It already wanted to come out. That thing just sprung off. I'm just removing the mech here for the shifting, for the front derailleur. And uh, gotta take all this out in order to slide it out, so that's what I'm doing right now. Woo, look at that! Nice clean bar. Is that what that is? Now we're gonna be adding things to it. Uh, we'll be removing this guy here because he said it was almost impossible. And it was not. We need to have Hero work on his finger strength. Finger strength. I'm going to start assembling the front here. I'm going to put on the screen first. Uh, main reason I'm starting starting with the screen is I'm just trying to get the easiest stuff off of the uh, off of the screen here. So you have one side that has the uh, buttons to power on and all that good stuff here, and then this looks like the connector to kind of control everything. So that's all right there. And we'll have the new brake levers that are going to look very sickening. Right there. These are some huge brake levers though, <laughs> like Hero was saying. But they look pretty ridiculous. Yes, I go this right in there. As you guys can see there, it looks amazing so far. <laughs> but I'd have to say definitely it's taking longer than uh, 30 minutes, so um, this job is probably, uh, I'm going to at least say it's about an hour, guys. Just keep that in mind. One thing that we did find out was the thickness here. Um, to actually make this sit flat against the actual buffet motor and the frame, we had to use two of the spacers. So we did have to buy these spacers separately. Um, and it comes with a bag of 10, um, you know, two millimeter spacers. Um, but overall, it locks in, but we had to have two of them so to four, actually four be able, millimeters. Yeah, four millimeters total to actually be able to actually 
go tight onto the frame square or flush yeah. across the board. So like I said, this is uh, the proper way to do it. So we're gonna start tightening it and move on to the next step. So since we don't have a proper tool here to actually get that on, uh, we're gonna be using a screwdriver and a hammer. And we're gonna just slightly uh, tap it on until we get to where we need it to be. And then we'll go a little harder. Teamwork. Teamwork. It's not turning. Okay. Yeah. Kind of here. The whole bike moved. The, 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 the whole bike yeah, moved. The whole bike moved. It looks so nice without a freaking derailleur. I had to clean that section. You left it all dirty. Dang, I left it all dirty. It's because you had a front <laughs> derailleur. That's why. So yeah, so Hero's breaking the chain here. Um, now we do watch another um, another uh, YouTuber where his this guy and his son go out and ride uh, mountain bikes, and he has a tow strap. So he's towing. Uh, he tows his son up the hill, and then they go on the downhill processes. So this is what we're going to try to do with Hero too, and see if we can actually um, assist Hero up the hills on some of the major major climbs. Hero is pretty quick up on on hills anyway. But just in case if there's some crazy hills where it's like, oh my god, I can't climb that. Yep, if he's, I can be if I can be towed, why not? Yeah, so he's just like, we'll we'll try to tow him up if we can. And if not, we'll have Hero buy an e-bike next. Woo! Just so you know, our speed sensor is actually different from the ones that they actually show on um, on the video here. So you can kind of see that it runs a smaller screw. It does have a little bit of Loctite. You can kind of see it in there. A um, little bit of Loctite right there. You can kind of see it. And uh, yeah, you just tighten it down and hold it on. So let's try it and see what happens. The cables are um, for the brake and uh, rear derailleur run underneath the top tube here. So as you can see the cable right there. So of course they're being clamped down by the bike mount, yeah. but yeah, they, they, they're, a, there's a lot of clearance there because the battery actually has a little indentation. indentation yeah. So I think they did that on purpose. So yeah, right now we're just routing cables, zip tying it onto the frame, and we're gonna tighten everything back up, and then uh, you know yeah. go for a test ride. Test spin, yep. So hopefully we, on it. hopefully we can do wheelies. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it done right now, guys. All right, so Ooh. we'll ch we'll check back when once this part's complete. Also, we kind of routed the um, here's the throttle, here's the plus and minus. I think that's for the power. Got the screen, and you know the rear derailleur is all there. This is all gonna be tidied up. We're gonna heat shrink all of these cables together to protect from moisture and uh, yeah, make it all look nice. Once we do a test ride, there's no point in doing all that right now and then having to take it apart. <laughs> so, yep. We got it all together. Hero's like super excited. He's like, we need to go. Yeah, away. I wanna, I, I'm Even like. we didn't finish zip tying right here. We didn't finish zip tying. We we're missing a zip tie right here. We need a zip tie there to hold that. So it's away from the tire. Dan, this guy getting all excited. We need to we need to pump the front tire. We need to zip tie a couple things, but I'm already <laughs> excited. I just want to go ride it right now. He's like, let's go. We just tested it. Seriously, no no joke. On the fastest or on the lowest gear, with the 46 tooth front, we went 20 miles an hour on the screen. It showed 20 miles an hour. Are we, are we gonna do this right now? We're we gonna show them. Oh yeah, I turn it on. It's at zero. So we went all the way up to. Uh, Look at that. <laughs> 20 miles an hour in the slowest gear. And I thought it was going slow and I was just like, man, yeah, he's it's like, going really slow. Yeah, he's like, this is and, not fast enough. Yeah, and then he was like, you know, you're not in the smallest gear. And I was like, Dang! No, you're not in the fastest, not fastest gear. gear to say, yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's like gnarly. Guys. This, is, That's, this you, is so cool right now. I'm like so excited. I Dang, can't wait to test the brakes it. trying to stop. Yeah. <laughs> So you do have to hold it down to turn it off. And so apparently it. you can hack it, guys. So maybe we'll be trying to do that at some point as well. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ride it during the day. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll be back, you know, for a second with you guys and one night for us, and we'll be trying it out. So this is exciting, guys. I don't, I don't know about this daytime riding yeah. he's talking about. I'm about to ride it right now. <laughs> day, not even ready.
<laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, yeah, so daytime, you guys are gonna see it right now. Woo! Woo. All right, downhill. He's accelerating. Woo, you can hear him taking off. Dang. Dang. All right, gas out. And Alvin's at the top. Woo, e bike motor for the win. Hero zero. 